everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. We're going to get into some NHL action for March 7th, but before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section that has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So, as we get closer to the end of the NHL season, every game is getting more and more important for playoff seeding, so we're going to get started with these games for March 7th. We have four of them we want to look at. The first one on the list is the Florida Panthers and the Buffalo Sabres. The Panthers come in second in the Eastern Conference, and the Sabres are second from the bottom. The Sabres are dead up. They won their last game and are 1-5 over their last six. While the Panthers are average status, they are coming off of a three-game losing streak with a 3-0 win over Ottawa. You can see that Florida has been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six, and so has Buffalo. So expect a higher scoring game in this contest as well. In fact, the score prediction has Florida by a 4-3 margin with 64% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows that Florida is at plus 26. They were up at plus 31, so they've dipped a little bit since then. And Buffalo is all the way down at the bottom at just plus 1. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? Consistency is a factor when it comes to betting. So they're both at plus 18, which means they have been pretty consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. I really don't think that Buffalo has much of a chance here. They are coming off of a win, but Florida is a considerably better team. Florida won this game by two goals and went for the game to go over the line. The Kings and the Bruins. The Kings enter fifth in the Western Conference, and the Bruins are seventh in the Eastern Conference. The Bruins are burning hot now, having won five out of their last six, and coming off of a three-goal win over Vegas. And the Kings are average status, losing their last two after winning their previous four. Expect a higher scoring game as you see the totals here. The Kings have been involved in games over the line in every game out of their last six, while Boston has been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six. If you look at the score prediction, it's 3-2 to two in favor of Boston with 51% level of confidence. It's a little bit lower scoring than I believe the game is going to go. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see both teams have been up and then down slightly as Boston's at plus 24 and... Los Angeles is at plus 21. These teams have been pretty stable. Uh, you look here at Boston at plus 18 and the Kings at plus 10. See both on an upward climb in that category in general. So the stability factor is important. I believe that Boston has the edge here at home. I think they will win the game by probably a goal. Might even go into overtime. It's going to be a good contest. I think this game will go over the line. Looking at maybe like a 4-3 type of a score. Colorado and New York Islanders. Colorado has the best record in the NHL. They are average stats in the moment, 4-2 and two over the last six, coming off of a 2-1 to one loss to Arizona. The Islanders are ice cold down. They are just 2-4 and four over their last six games, and they are coming off of a 4-3 loss to Vancouver. If you take a look at the over-under, again, this is probably going to be a higher scoring game as the teams have been trending in the games over the line in, in both of them, five out of their last six contests. The score prediction is indicating the same type of a thing with Colorado giving a 4-3 to three margin of win, but the confidence in prediction is only 38% at the moment, so take a look at that as it gets closer to game time to see if that has changed at all. The power rankings indicator shows that Colorado is at plus 31. Now, they've been near the top of the league all season, as you can see. And the Islanders, they were at plus 3. They improved to plus 7 as of March 1st, but now they have dipped again to plus 5. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, notice again that Colorado is near the top here, and probably in that category as well. I don't have all the teams uh information at my disposal at the moment but at plus 25 they're likely going to be one of the top teams in stability and new york's at plus 14 both teams have been performing consistent according to their favorite underdog status i don't see the islanders really having a whole lot of a chance to win this game i mean they are playing at home gives them a little bit of an edge but i really do think that colorado will win by a couple goals in a high score game going over the line the last game we want to look at is the edmonton oilers and the calgary flames the Oilers come in 7th in the Western Conference, while the Flames are 2nd in the Conference. Calgary is average status at the moment, 4-2 and, uh, four and two, excuse me, over the last 6, and Edmonton is ice cold down. They are just 2-4 and four over their last 6 games. The score prediction is showing 
Calgary by a 3 to 2 edge with 58% level of confidence. So that would probably not go over the line. If you look at the over or under as far as both teams are concerned over the past six, both teams have been involved in games over the line in four contests out of their last six. So this could be a game that goes over. But, uh, the power rankings indicator shows once it comes up. Okay, the power rankings indicator. There we go. Um, Calgary at plus 27, while Edmonton is at plus 19. Both teams are on a little bit of upward trend in that category. So, let's take a look at the stability factor as well. Both teams are moderately stable at plus 11 to plus 9. But you can see both are down a little bit. But overall, the in general trend is that both teams have been going uphill in that category. So, they've been pretty well performing according to their favorite underdog stats. What do I think about the contest here? I really do think this could be the highest scoring game of the day. I just had a feeling about that. And I do like. Um, the Flames winning us at home, edging the Oilers, maybe by like a 4-3, 5-4 score, perhaps even a game going into overtime. So there you have it. Those are the games from March 7th in the NHL. Happy betting. We will see you again next time.